today we will be going over this Teen Titans Iceberg. Now before we get riled up, I know a lot of you guys dislike the series and I gotta say I don't completely disagree with you. There are some pretty bad episodes and comparing it to the original Teen Titans series which I'll make an iceberg on eventually, it doesn't compete. It's more Weenie Hut Jr. than anything. But hey, there's a reason why it's been on Cartoon Network for so long. It's got a fan base, and when there's a fan base, there's lore. So without further ado, let's get into this Teen Titans iceberg and see what it's got to offer. New Teen Titans Testing for a new Teen Titans style animation first began as shorts that ran during Cartoon Network's DC Nation. These shorts were titled The New Teen Titans and they presented the heroes with large heads, similar to that of Teen Titans Go. This is where the Teen Titans Go producers got their inspiration from. Velsky Bum 94 Velsky Bum 94 is a prominent YouTuber in the cartoon niche, usually covering everything Cartoon Network related. I'm guessing that he's an entry on this iceberg because of his harsh criticisms of the show. He's made tons of videos on its flaws and why it's so hated. The key arguments being that it's cheaply made, the jokes don't land, and its targeted age demographic is unclear. Though he does acknowledge that it's a smart business choice for Cartoon Network to keep it on air, due to the amount of revenue it brings in. Teeny Titans Teeny Titans is a mobile game based on the animated series, made for Android and iOS devices, released sometime in the mid-2010s. It's a pay-to-play game, going for $3.99 in the American App Store. Most compare the game to that of Pokemon, and it's got pretty high ratings, so it can't be that bad. Merchandise this entry is simply referencing the merchandise based on the series. From t-shirts to figurines, they have it all. Even going as far as sponsoring children's toy review channels? Shameless Cartoon Network, shameless. Gotta get that back. William Walter Thomas. Here's a wholesome one. William Walter, aka Wally T, was a guest voice actor in Teen Titans Go, who voiced himself in the episode with the same name. William is a teen from East Tennessee who is battling a rare genetic disorder known as Barakat Syndrome who wishes to become a voice actor one day. The Make-A-Wish Foundation gave him an opportunity to become a cartoon character version of himself on an episode of Teen Titans Go. He said being able to get to voice himself in a cartoon was the first step of his voice acting career. Before we dive deeper into this iceberg, this video is sponsored by World of Warships. World of Warships is a free-to-play, team-based sea battle game available for PC with more than 400 ships for you to choose from. There are more than 44 million players in five different warship classes like destroyers, battleships, cruisers, aircraft carriers, and submarines. After the success of the first collaboration, Transformers are back in the World of Warships and they brought reinforcements. Hot Rod and Grimlock have joined the battle with fellow Autobots Optimus Prime and Bumblebee in the game but Megatron and Rumble have reinforcements of their own, with Decepticons, Soundwave, and Starscream entering the fray. There's a limited time event ending on October 21st, so act quickly to claim your free ships and Transformer Commanders. Choose your side, Autobots or Decepticons. Autobots all day, baby, and join the battle using the first link in the description. During registration, you can use the promo code AUTOBOTS2021 or DECEPTICONS2021 to get a lot of rewards. Using code AUTOBOTS2021 will get you 1 million credits, a Grimlock Autobot Commander, a Tier 5 French Premium Destroyer, Seroko, and 20 Autobot Ship Camos. And using code DECEPTICONS2021 will get you 1 million credits, a Soundwave Decepticon Commander, a Tier 5 Italian Premium Cruiser Genova, and 20 Decepticon Ship Camos. The codes are only for new players and players inactive for more than 30 days, so if you want to try out the game, now's a good time to do so. Thanks World of Warships, now let's get back to the video. Self-Aware There are a few scenes in the show that acknowledge the hate and criticism, and how it's compared to the original, even going as far as having an episode where the Teen Titans react to the original series. Raven Fandom I guess Teen Titans Go revived some Raven fans to go crazy over her once again. Not the Teen Titans Go version per se, but more of the character herself. Let's just say that the artists get really detailed with the drawings. Official YouTube Channel Yup, they have an official YouTube channel. This is a pretty obvious one. Adored by the network. I guess this is speaking on the scheduling controversy about how they had constant reruns of the show on the Cartoon Network channel, pushing away tons of mature viewers. But it could also be in reference to it not being cancelled after years of scrutiny and hate from the public. There was even a petition made to cancel the show, racking up more than 1,300 supporters. April 23rd, 2013. April 23rd, 2013 is the date Teen Titans Go first aired on Cartoon Network. I thought this was going to be something deep, but it's just the premiere date. Why Teen Titans Go was created. 
Warner Bros. and DC Comics saw that action-based animated shows were on the decline and becoming less popular overall amongst their audience, so they decided to take a different approach by making the series less serious and making it more goofier, meaning that fighting scenes weren't going to be as prominent in this new series, and instead it was going to focus more on the superheroes' downtime. Memes I guess this is just referencing the memes, most of them make fun of the show and others compare it to its predecessor. Teen Titans Go Creepypasta So there's a creepypasta based on a supposed lost episode of Teen Titans Go. It follows the generic plotline of seeing blood within scenes and characters having no eyes. In this case it's Starfire, and Cyborg is depicted with no head, and Raven doing some satanic chant. It's overall not well written, but you can go check it out yourself if you want to. Unproduced a sixth season. In mid November 2005, TitansTower.com reported that prospects for a sixth season were looking extremely unlikely, and fans were urged to express their support for the show to Cartoon Network. Several days after this initial posting, word came out that Cartoon Network had officially terminated the show. According to Will Whedon, the actor who provided the voice of Aqualad, the series was terminated by Warner Bros. Ever since then, there have been rumors of a sixth season, but all we got was Teen Titans Go which made the fans of the original extremely mad. Creators never saw the original. Michael J. Lennick, along with Aaron Horvath, admitted that they never watched the entire Teen Titans original series, and merely watched selected episodes to get ideas for some Teen Titans Go episodes, which is a major reason why it's not really similar to the original, in both the artistic style and also the character personalities. The Worst Episode Wally T is considered to be the worst Teen Titans Go episode, mainly because they reuse self-deprecating jokes and yell Wally T's name constantly, to the point that it's annoying. Of course there's sympathy for the kid that the show's named after, but most believe that it was just done lazily and there wasn't any effort put into it. Adult Humor Surprisingly enough, the creators were able to sneak in a few adult jokes into the show. They even intended it to look cheerful and upbeat, while keeping the humor somewhat mature, kind of like South Park. Everyone hates the show right now because they think it's this like kitty show. Yeah. And it's not that. It's definitely No, it's not. got a very bright and cheerful style, but like the it's tone of the humor is kind of messed up. Yeah. <laughs> and it's weird. We're Which going to me makes it funnier. It's kind of like South Park, you know, like it's crude yeah. and adorable, but awful. <laughs> Though as they got deeper into the seasons, it seems that they kind of went off the rails and started to target mainly tweens and younger audiences. And that was the Teen Titans Go Iceberg. It was kind of short and sweet with not too many entries, but it's understandable as it's not as complex as Gravity Falls or Adventure Time. But either way, thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you next week.